It's Thursday morning. Katmandu comes right up here to the gate. He's found out if he pushes that corner of the gate he can get in. Sometimes he's reluctant to come in, but he's been in twice. Katmandu. And she says, Who's the, who is that Katmandu? I don't like him. And he hisses at me. He hisses at you, don't he? Yeah. I'm looking at him too hard. He's eating some eating something in there, I can hear him. He's crunching. I want something to crunch on, but maybe him. But he might crunch on me. <laughs> what do you think, fat man do? You gonna come up for a visit? You buddy? I'm inching closer to the gate. I'll be there in a minute. Batman Dew is over there. Mmm. I see him. Look how big he is. Mm -hmm. He's too big for me to mess with. I'm going to back away. He makes me scared. Batman Dew. What are you looking at, Batman Dew? Oh, so much for the critters. I'm uh, setting up my knife display so I can. I got to change it around a little bit since I'll be working at night. I got to mount a light pole. I bought a four foot fluorescent light. I got to put that somehow on the table. And I got to take those knives, those fishermen's knives, back to the guy this morning. So, just stand by. Send us a fancy diagram of where everybody's going to be located in this market. And this is a, a really cool spot. This is what they call Virginia Beach Town Center when we get to it. It's a, a new complex they built, still building, three or four years ago. It's got a big, just got the tallest building in Virginia Beach. It looks like a baby Empire State building. It's a Western Hotel, and they got lots of big, tall bank buildings. It's all com combined in about a five or six, seven block square complex. And there's a fountain in the middle. There's a big Ruth Chris Steakhouse and a Sonoma Wine Bar and all around this fountain. And that's where we're going to be setting up. I don't know how it's going to turn out. Anyway, forecast is uh, supposed to rain this morning and not rain this afternoon. Like 70% this morning and 20% tonight. But maybe that's changed. It looks kind of iffy for them tonight. I don't know. But our Saturday gigs are supposed to rain all day hard Saturday. So we probably won't even have a gig. I don't know. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a minute when I get over there. I got to go by and do a walkthrough. Well, while we're stopped at this light, I need to tell you about something. Monday I had a little pain in my chest, in the right hand side, when I breathe in deep. I said, damn, I wonder what that is. Well, being a rocket scientist, I didn't do anything about it Monday. Tuesday, I got up, I had a little more. When I breathe in, I got a sharp pain in my chest. When I made certain movements, I had a sharp pain in my chest. Still, being a rocket scientist, I figure it's going to go away. Well, yesterday when I got up, I had another little pain in my chest in the same spot. Same thing. If I breathe in, breathe out, sometimes certain movements I would make, like somebody stabbed me right in the chest. So I go to the doctor. The doctor says, initially, I think it's pleurisy. I didn't know what pleurisy was until I got home. But anyway, they did an EKG, they did an x-ray, and said, no, you're okay, that's fine. The EKG is, you know, 18 years old. Your lungs are great. I'm pretty sure it's pleurisy. Well, if you don't want to know what pleurisy is, just look it up. It's a pain in the ass, or in my chest, I should say. He said, take an ibuprofen or a... Yesterday and it helped it pretty much. I took one this morning and it helped it pretty much. He said it was just like a virus or 
you can see it we're coming up on it there there's the big western hotel there's another office building over there a model hoffler there's a you can't see it but there's a bank building over there it's a great big dicks sporting thing right here on the corner it's a big complex i'm telling you i just don't know how good it's going to be for a fair people got to come out and come into the heart of the city park in a parking lot I don't know if we get many people from the offices coming in, but you can't, I guess you can't never tell. License was forty dollars, so you know I got that day before yesterday. The table setup is only twenty, so it's, it's not no great loss in money, but it is three weeks in November, three Thursdays in November and three in December. From four to seven. So it'll be two hours in the dark and the cold. But it's eighty they claiming well, they ain't claiming eighty, but they're claiming high uh High 70s today. You can see this big walkway connects this building to that building. That's where we're going to park at right over there. Stand by. This is where we park. You see we're surrounded by giant buildings. <laughs> and what that's going to do I don't know. Somehow we got to get our gear over here from here to here. So it's going to be basically like a gun show. You drag everything on a wagon or a cart or something. Stand by. You can see this is a, like I said, a pretty place. There's the waterfall. The Ruth Chris Steakhouse upstairs. There's a wine bar there. According to this, we set up over here on the end. Hold on. According to this, the music sets up right here. That's a place right there called the loft. And we all set up in these little squares right here. It looks like Max is number six. I'm going to set up somewhere in here. And the rest of us are going to set up right in here. There's going to be... Uh, Three, five, nine tenths in here, and I presume the seafood guy, the big Mexican vegetable guy, and full quiver of chicken people are going to be up here on this upper level. That's the way it shows. That's Bank Street right there. We'll see how it goes. I'm going home. I got to get some more stuff ready. It's pick off and drop off. So it looks like this area right here, I can shoot right in here, set all my gear out right here, and sail over there and set my stuff up. That's the way I'm taking it anyway. If not, I got to put everything over there in the parking lot and roll it in like I do at the gun show. That's if you're lucky enough to get a spot right here. Stand by. building right here is a apartment building condominium building or I don't know what you call it but you can see it's big and people actually you know they buy these places and live in them I don't know what the occupancy is but I heard it's pretty good and if they got dull knives it'd be like East Beach I got a collective community right here at my hands if they're knives or dull, that is. We'll see. I'm going to hell home now. Found it. Sitting under my seat in the truck. We'll start over. Truck's loaded. Get ready to go. Tent. Gear. Stands. Okay. You can see the sun is out, but it's kind of bleak in certain areas. Cross your fingers. If I do, uh, if I do one or two knives, I'll be happy. I'm not looking to do any. I'm just looking for practice. 
I don't know how much advertisement the market did or so on and so forth. If the city did it, we'll just have to wait and see. News I forgot to give you. As I was loading my truck out, I got her all loaded. Coming out of the garage, I noticed she was kind of listening to the left a little. Don't you know that my left tire's got a hole in it now? I can't see anything in it, but I'm going to guess it needs 10 pounds of air, so I got to stop up here a while while I get some. Damn the bad luck, I said. Look at bleak over that way. That's the way I'm headed. <laughs> ah. There it is. Look at that. You turkey. A screw of all that. You can see the towers are coming into view. Looks kind of cloudy around those towers. Now we got raindrops falling. I'm going back home if it rains. Well, the outside vegetable guy, he's getting set up. That's some nice vegetables today, too. Gigantic sweet potatoes, white sweet potatoes, beets, uh, turnips, squashies, seafood man, he's setting up over here. Let's see what the seafood man's got here today. Crab meat, scallops, a big shell. What are you doing today, Captain? The best of it's here, right next to me, the best of it. Spice guy. There goes the neighborhood. That's like the best display ever. I got to move my sign over to the left, so it's too far to the right. Well, other than that, I'm ready. My light's right there. I might have to raise my light up tomorrow, or for next time I use it. I got it kind of low so it won't shine in my eyes, but it might be too low. But only darkness will tell that. I tried it out in the garage with the lights out, but, you know, the garage got windows in it. Okay, stand by. We're getting ready. We're almost ready. All the vendors are almost set up. The rest of it's taking pictures. Kennel corn lady just got through setting up. There's Menino's with the sauce. We'll take a spin through here in a minute. I said in a minute. Pan of, pan of cooked peppers. He's been in a lot of fairs. He worked with me over at Whole Foods a couple summers ago. Kettle corn. Stand by. Here's the best of it. It started with a fig, she said. You got all kinds of fig things. My weakness. Oh my god. Bowser's out here today. Yeah. Yeah. We got music. Live music. Well, what are you sold so far? Uh, some devil crabs, uh, a cup of chowder, and a salmon burger. Well, liquid sunshine has arrived. Not hard, just a little steady hip pop. Just enough to make it a little bit aggravating. 
like, you just gotta back my stuff in a little bit right, under the tent better. I need to bring some on nine. Well, it sounds like I'm gonna get a knife or two. The guy was just here, he says, oh, what is this going on here? He says, uh, a fair every Thursday from now on. He said, well, I live right over there in that big building. I'm gonna go get my knives and bring them back to you. Got a chef knife, it's a long serrated knife and two smaller knives. We'll see what he's got when he gets here. So it's not gonna be too bad. It's 541 now. So we'll get a uh, gas money, maybe. It's a pretty place, though, isn't it? The pepper guy's got his peppers lit up. Play is nice. Right across the street is a big California pizza kitchen. You can see the fire burning over there. Fresh pizza. I think they'd have more lights on that uh, fountain thing. It would have to be lit up, you know, but it's not. I don't know if you can see them or not. I took some pictures of them. There's some, they're like big pelicans. Or maybe not pelicans, uh, what do you call them? Uh, egrets, I think herons or something, all wrapped together like they're, I don't know what they're doing, but there's a bunch of them hooked together right there. Well, yeah, look at this. The lady from the kettle corn just made some fresh kettle corn. She brought me a bag of it. Well, she brought everybody a bag of it. State Fair Popcorn. Taste of Memories. Zero fat. Do do da 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 do dum. I like it. Kettle corn. All of a sudden the bottom fell out. Good gracious it's raining. Came back. He's got a serrated cut coat and a chef's knife cut coat. There we go. Well, the seafood man just departed the area. He couldn't take it no more. <laughs> oh, God. I made it home out of the rain with the critters. Big old Jack and no name. Dottie, no name. Big old Jack, what are you doing? Fix We got a package in the mail while I was out. Says it's to uh, Jack, Dottie, and Jake, Jill. Uh, anyway, it's from my buddy uh, Stephen Trailer, Pacific City, Oregon. Wow, that baby's been traveling. Stand by, let's see what's in here. It says from the puppies from Emma and Ellie, our puppies. You can wash them in the washer. Ours like to play frisbee with them. Let's us know how you hold how they hold out. Need more? We sell them on ecstasy.com under Willowwood Pond. Steve and Cece. Ellie and Emma. Okay. Thank you. Beautiful. We'll see how they go. See how the little critters like them. Let's see. This is the little thing. A dog is short stack simple old-fashioned toy for dogs made of fleece and squeaker mm-hmm we had two squirrels or and the squeakers have mysteriously disappeared out of them I wonder how they how they did that mmm Jack says mmm Jack's got one, and no dog with no name has the other one. Dottie, don't, no name dog. Hmm, <laughs> I got another one. So I like it. 